working in an office behind a desk nine to five wasn't for me. Um, it's a very dynamic role. I get to work with people from a range of disciplines, mechanical engineers, uh, process engineers, civil engineers. Going through high school, I was always interested in the mathematics, physics and chemistry subjects. So naturally I sort of gravitated towards engineering. For me, I had the opportunity to speak to one of the mining professors at UNSW prior to selecting which stream of engineering I wanted to pursue. He encouraged me to start off with mining, give it a go for a year, and if it didn't work out, I could always change. So with that in mind, I thought, why not give it a go? After going on the first year field trip where we had the opportunity to visit an open cut coal mine and an underground copper mine, that sealed the deal for me. Really enjoyed the active role, the being on site every day, being able to see your plans implemented on a daily basis and see the immediate rewards from that. So the mining engineering program at UNSW, uh, it was a very tight-knit cohort compared to some of the other streams like civil engineering and mechanical where there's hundreds of students who can feel a bit lost and don't really know your professors on a personal level. In mining, being such a small group, who we were able to build relationships with the professors. It was a very close-knit social group. There's plenty of social activities and societies on campus. Weekly barbecues were something to look forward to, as well as it was a joint effort coming into exam time, uh, preparing for assessments together. It was very enjoyable. I found the mining engineering degree content was very applicable to on-the-job application, um, very practical base. It was, we had professors who'd worked at mines all over Australia and across the world come in and share with us their expertise and their learnings from their careers. Coming to a new mine site as a graduate I was lucky enough to be supported by other mining engineers within the team. That's the technical services team. Typically within a team there's short-term planners, drill and blast engineers, surveyors, geologists, all working together to implement the mine plan in a safe and efficient manner. When choosing a career in mining, I was always open to adventure and seeking to explore new places. Working in mining, you expect to be working outside of the cities. For me personally, I've had the opportunity to work in the Hunter Valley, out near Mudgee, over in Parks, New South Wales. I've been, had the opportunity to meet loads of people I never would have met, experiencing so I never would have met if I'd stayed in the city. As a mining engineer, I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to work in a world-leading industry. Mining in Australia is tiers above many other countries. We are at the forefront of technological innovation, adopting best mining practices that incorporate safety as well. If you're looking for a job where you're not behind a desk from 9am to 5, Monday to Friday, mining might be for you. Get the opportunity to travel to some of the places people will never dream about seeing, explore parts of Australia or the world where mining operations exist that you wouldn't even know are there. The people you meet along the way, the relationships you build within the mining industry have for the duration of your career. I'm proud to be a mining engineer in an industry that has a pivotal role in providing natural resources for many of the daily products we enjoy every day, whether it's mobile phones, electricity, cars, it all comes from natural resources mined somewhere around the world. As a mining engineering student, I enjoyed the mining specific subjects over the generic core engineering subjects. I found they were a lot more practical, hands-on, and we could see the implementation out in the real world. You've got plenty of opportunities as your career progresses, whether you stay in the technical stream going from engineer to senior engineer to tech services manager or if you want to get into consulting 
in the drill and blast space or the planning space, there's opportunities there. If you want to change from engineering, there's a relatively easy process to get into production and go down the supervisory role and work towards becoming a mine manager. If you've got more of a business focus and interested in the financials, there's opportunities to go into the financial side of things where you're evaluating mine projects, looking at feasibility studies and looking at those mines of the future. I enjoy the dynamic problem solving, so on a day-to-day -day basis we get issues coming up, whether it's hot ground or loading next to vibration sensitive areas or designing a new initiation sequence or mining and blasting into underground workings. Every day presents a new opportunity and a new challenge.